morning, Glacier. It's Friday, January 29th. I'm Andrea. And I'm Kaylin. And here are your morning announcements. It's time for GTV Athlete of the Week. Our finalists this week are Kenzie Williams and Ellie Keller, who are both leading the Wolfpack girls basketball team. But this weekend, G this week's GTV Athlete of the Week is sophomore Tegan Vasquez from the GS GHS wrestling team. Although the team is quarantined this weekend, Tegan, a 2020 state double A champion, has started out the year undefeated and ranked number one in his weight class. All right, so I'm here with GTV's Athlete of the Week, Tegan Vasquez. So Tegan, what does it mean to be Athlete of the Week? Um, it means a lot. It's pretty cool to be Athlete of the Week and uh, get recognized for all the hard work I'm putting in. Nice. And how's the team been performing this year? Uh, we've been performing pretty dang good. Uh, we've been wrestling really good, just scrapping all around. Guys are fighting hard and uh, getting some good wins. And awesome. And how did last week's last week's match go for you? Uh, it went pretty good against the Hellgate kid. I pinned him pretty quick and everything like that. And then the Butte kid, it went into the second period, and I uh, pinned him towards the end. So, yeah, it went pretty good. Nice. Thank you. Good luck on the rest of the season. Thanks. I'm here with Lance Travel, Tegan Vasquez's teammate, and um, how is Tegan a good teammate? Well, you know, he brings a really big energy into the room. He's always willing to pick up other guys when they're down and out and stuff like that, and he always is going hard 24-7, no matter what we're doing, going light, hard, easy. He's always at it, and he's always going hard. Kind of like the younger guys look up to that and just like, hey, I got to get to work, I got to get going. And how has he been doing this year? Uh, really well. I mean, he's had an undefeated season so far, and kind of just how he is, man. He's after it all the time, always getting the wins, always getting the pins. Thank you. Congrats, Tegan. And here's part two of Landon Mom's staff spotlight on Mrs. Fritz. Oh. That's an interesting story. When we split, when Flathead and Glacier split, Mr. Adkins and I both uh, had a long discussion and we talked about the fact that Flathead would be fine. We had established a lot of traditions and uh, really excellence there and we didn't want theater and speech to go to just anybody. We wanted to make sure that we had two very strong programs in both speech and theater because those are um, programs that in a lot of schools they just kind of get kicked to the side and nobody thinks about them and whoever's the new English teacher just gets the job and we didn't want that to happen we had had such a strong tradition which didn't start with us by the way it had been there for so long that we didn't want the valley to not have that same tradition with the new high school you never know what's going to happen <laughs> from day to day. I can't imagine going to a nine to five job and like punching the same uh, ticket every single day, like doing the exact same thing. Um, luckily, wow, students make it so that you never ever have the same day twice. Oh heck no, um, I'm probably gonna be here forever. Uh, in reality, I did turn 50 this year, so I had to like think about my life and I'm not close. Uh, when I student taught, there was this little tiny woman who was allergic to chalk, her name was Barbara Kirsten, and she told me a great piece of advice and she said, I will retire when I don't look forward to coming. And it took her about five more years before she chose that. And it was really a moment of, you gotta love what you do, and I love what I do. So I'm not looking to retire anytime soon. So I think if I did the math correctly, I have officially worked with her for 17 years. One of the things that I love about her is her energy and enthusiasm for teaching and doing what's right for kids. She takes care of her students. I think that's what makes her a great teacher. Absolutely, she's a great teacher. Uh, I think she strives to connect with all of her students, so you know, it doesn't matter who is in her classroom, she's gonna make that extra effort, go the extra mile to really get to know who's in front of her and uh, get them the best education that she can provide them. And here's what you need to know. If you still have 
textbooks from any semester class that has ended, the library asks that you return those books ASAP to avoid lost in late charges. Best of luck to our Wolfpack basketball teams who play the Capital Bruins on Saturday, with our girls traveling to Helena and our boys playing at home. And of course, best of luck to the Wolfpack speech and debate team, who is competing virtually here at GHS in the 2021 State AA Tournament. The Wolfpack are aiming for their, their sixth State AA title in school history. Go Pack! All the announcements and GTV episodes can be found on the school website. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to respect yourself, respect others, and respect the building. And remember the three W's of the Wolfpack, the Wolfpack way. Wash your hands, watch your distance, and wear a mask.